When you drop a regular animal on an island, things can get crazy. Animals change a lot and act differently than anywhere else. Imagine leaving a caterpillar on an island and not picking up for a while. You're in for a surprise. This caterpillar is super fast. Blink and you might miss it attacking. Getting this speedy takes either superpowers or intense training, or simply ending up on a deserted island away from the rest of the world. Hawaii is home to some unique animals, and some of the coolest is the carnivorous caterpillar. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies, but these guys are different. As adults, they eat flowers and seeds like regular butterflies, and they look kind of cute with their green fuzzy wings. But here's the twist. Out of Hawaii's 20 caterpillar types, a whopping 18 are expert bug eaters. They're like top-notch hunters, using camouflage to sneak up on unsuspecting fruit flies. Sometimes they even trick their prey by creating fake paths on leaves, making them come closer for a surprise attack. These caterpillars are seriously good at hunting. These carnivorous caterpillars have long, thin parts at the back of their body that work like feelers. When an unsuspecting insect touches these parts, which they usually don't expect because caterpillars aren't supposed to be predators, our deadly caterpillar quickly moves backward. One strike is all it takes to capture and grab the insect, holding it tightly. What makes these Hawaiian caterpillars even more dangerous is the claws they use to hold their prey. If you look closely, these claws resemble spines. They're so long that they can easily pierce the victim. Caterpillars from Hawaii are relentless eaters, going after any creature they can grab without being picky. They target insects like flies, moths, crickets, and even cockroaches, basically anything that can't escape fast enough. There are even sightings of them hunting down other caterpillars, though it's not clear if it's a predator versus predator showdown. This strange behavior of caterpillars is unique to Hawaii. Some believe the ancestors of these caterpillars probably didn't hunt live prey initially because most caterpillars from this group aren't into meaty meals at all. The few that do prefer animal snacks live exclusively in Hawaii. Even among them, two out of six species still prefer plants over hunting. It's not like these caterpillars are ditching protein, let's just say they have a more diverse menu. Putting all of these puzzle pieces together, some scientists think it is logical that hunting is a recent adaptation, probably caused by the population being isolated on the island. Out of the six carnivorous Hawaiian caterpillars, four aren't interested in nibbling on anything green. They're so predatory that they wouldn't touch a leaf even if they were starving. Sure, they might munch on leaves to set up their hunting ground, but once they're done, those leaves are promptly spat out, even though any regular caterpillar would find them quite a feast. Some think that these caterpillars have evolved a lot to become predators, and there's no going back for them. Even if they fancied a switch, it wouldn't work. Predatory caterpillars opting out of their diet will just die. But insects didn't exactly doom themselves with their choice. Turns out going carnivorous has been a big win in the so-called evolution game. Remember how there are way fewer herbivores? That's because eating neighbors works better than munching on leaves. Curious how and when the local caterpillars switch to meat? It seems like, as with many things on this planet, scientists will say it happened by accident, or rather by a bunch of accidents all at once. The caterpillars' ancestors probably didn't plan to reach the islands, but perhaps they rode the wind, got stuck on debris, or hitched a ride with migrating seabirds. A few creatures survived the grueling transoceanic journey. Indeed, most insect pests, including ants, cockroaches, termites, and mosquitoes, didn't know Hawaii existed until humans brought them here. But way before that, the bold pioneers among insects found out that Hawaii's evolutionary playground was wide open, scientists believe. Supposedly, studies indicate that about 400 ancestors gave rise to around 10,000 insect species during the process scientists call adaptive radiation. It's like a big wave of one species radiating out into many, creating a bunch of new species. Eventually, insect populations spread across many islands, adapting to new places. New species emerged, among them our carnivorous caterpillar, supposedly. This killer caterpillar is thought to have descended from an ancestor that used to feed on plants, making its way to the islands about 5 million years back. In Hawaii, the carnivorous caterpillar stepped into the ecological role usually fulfilled by mantises. Yet, since mantises weren't brought to the islands, these caterpillars had to fill the gap. They also borrowed their behavior, apparently, 
attacking with tremendous speed in just 0.1 seconds and then devouring their prey alive, much like a mantis. It might sound crazy, a caterpillar that eats meat, but the Hawaiian Islands served as a sanctuary for insects to shape their distinctive habits, especially since there were no ants or wasps to bother them. Wasps and ants may not seem like very dangerous competitors, but from an insect's perspective, they can completely change their behavior and entire species. Take, for example, this caterpillar. When it grows up, it'll become a medusa, a Procris butterfly. Until then, it's extremely vulnerable, which is why it has to pretend to be waste. The entire body of the caterpillar is covered with spiky structures that visually help break its outline, making it blend seamlessly into its environment. Wherever the caterpillar goes, it leaves a long trail behind made up of silk, bits of leaves, and excrement. The color of these droppings is very similar to the body of the insect, making it less appealing for predators. While resting, the caterpillar aligns itself with these chains of droppings, essentially becoming invisible. It hides among the excrement, which may sound disgusting, but it's a clever strategy that seems to work. Scientists believe this is how the caterpillar blocks the ant's route, making them steer clear. Now, let's delve into the attack structures and behavior of carnivorous caterpillars. Did they grow all that on purpose, or is there evidence that these structures served a different function before? The snapping function has been observed in other non-carnivorous caterpillars of the genus, but it's used as a defense mechanism, not for attack. In essence, this is what scientists claim. It seems like the caterpillar was created for a different purpose, and the transition to predation is a behavioral modification that utilized insects already preset by nature. In other words, they switched from eating plants to hunting without drastically altering their bodies, they just repurposed some parts. This transition is pretty straightforward and makes sense, right? Imagine if people arrived on an island and started using their hands as feet and vice versa. That's essentially the kind of change isolation brings to animals, apparently. There's another example, a caterpillar that thinks it's a spider. Members of this species feed on snails and wrap sticky silk around their prey. This is intriguing because it's the first time we see caterpillars eating snails, which aren't their usual meal. While all caterpillars use silk to build their cocoons, they don't usually employ it as a hunting tool. These caterpillars, however, do exactly that. Once they spot a snail, they start spinning a silk web, attaching the snail's shell securely to the leaf. This ensures the snail won't slip or drop off, making it an easy meal. Sometimes the caterpillars even decorate their silk cocoons with empty snail shells, possibly for camouflage or intimidation. Caterpillars and land snails are everywhere, but only in Hawaii did caterpillars apparently switch up their tactics to prey on snails. It all boils down to competition. Not much rivalry among predators, apparently, but plenty among plant-eating bugs. So this caterpillar supposedly decided to try something new, descended from a herbivorous butterfly that settled on the islands apparently 15 million years ago. Islands are known as hotbeds of evolutionary activity. In Darwin's time, scientists recognized that islands are like non-stop evolutionary parties, without natural predators around. Animals on islands mutate a lot, supposedly, leading to unique and faster evolution compared to their mainland relatives. Hawaii is no exception, and besides carnivorous caterpillars, there are flightless moths, eye spot spiders, underground tree crickets, and even vampire bugs that suck the sap out of insect corpses. Many of these bizarre creatures are endemic to Hawaii and found nowhere else on Earth. This unique, supposedly evolutionary path is non-exclusive to Hawaii, and islands worldwide have apparently pushed animals to extreme adaptations. It may sound like a scene straight out of a horror movie, but it's just supposedly nature's way of finding extraordinary solutions to survive. In the early 1900s, the Kia, a highly intelligent and mischievous parrot, underwent a surprising dietary shift from seeds and bugs to red meat. On New Zealand's South Island, Kia were accused of hunting vulnerable sheep, tearing into their flesh and digging for their kidneys while they were still alive. This led to the deaths of thousands of sheep, and the Kia became infamous for their predatory behavior during this period. Naturalists and shepherds observed these incidents, and suspicions were confirmed when wool and raw mutton were found in the stomachs of Kia birds shot on sheep runs. People started sharing stories about the brutal attacks, with reports of Kia wiping out large numbers of sheep in a single night. The anger towards the Kia escalated to the point where it became legal to kill them. 
an estimated 150,000 Kia were killed between 1868 and the 1970s. Scientists today propose various theories about how the Kia developed a taste for meat. It's suggested that Kia, originally herbivores like other parrots, turned to a scavenger lifestyle during winter when their usual diet of berries, insects, and roots became scarce. Over apparently millions of years, Kia have evolved into adaptable eaters, and when humans brought sheep to the islands, Kia developed a liking for their meat. While the Kia's predatory behavior toward sheep is not observed today, they are on the verge of extinction. Farmers occasionally get worried when they spot strange marks on their animals, but the once infamous Kia is now recognized more for its playful antics than its past predatory nature. In a separate scenario, finches on Wolf Island, located north of the main Galapagos Islands, supposedly have adapted to feasting on blood during dry spells. These smaller finches boldly peck at larger seabirds, including their eggs, and drink their blood. The behavior is an adaptation to survive when seeds become scarce. Similarly, piranhas, the feared predators of South American rivers, have ancestors that were once plant eaters. Some South American fish species, known as packers, are considered close relatives of piranhas and were originally herbivorous. The rise in competition for food within South American river systems sparked genetic changes, leading to packers to develop teeth and transform into the carnivorous piranhas, apparently. These examples illustrate how animals can adapt to survive in changing environments and competition for resources, often resulting in unexpected shifts in diet and behavior. In nature, survival is a dynamic process, and species often undergo remarkable adaptations in response to changing environments and competition for resources. These stories highlight the intricate dance between species and their surroundings, illustrating how unexpected shifts in diet and behavior can emerge over time, ultimately shaping the fascinating diversity of life on our planet. If you enjoyed learning about these fascinating stories, please consider subscribing for more captivating insights into the wonders of the natural world. Thank you for watching.